Uh, but we're talking Rubik's Cubes today because Calgary is now the site of the world's largest Rubik's Cube at Telus Park. I'm stressed out because to me this is like math and it just, I start thinking about trying to solve a Rubik's Cube and I lose my mind. We're joined by Ryan, who is a superstar at doing this. Yeah. Actually, introduce yourself, Ryan, and, and, uh, and we'll say hello. Get, get nice and close there. All right, I'm Ryan Sinko. Oh. Oh, 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 Matt. Hang on, can you? Yeah, microphone's here, buddy. There we there go. We go. Okay, tell us again. One more Ryan. time. I'm Ryan Yusinko, and I am a speedcuber from Calgary, Canada, and I place top 10 in Canada for all events combined. Speedcuber. Speedcuber. Do you have business cards? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. and? And I'm Preet Dangel. I'm a public programmer at Spark, and I uh, am the one that was programming all the Rubik's Cube-related events at Spark the past uh, during the summer. Preet, can you do a Rubik's Cube? I actually had to learn. I learned uh, because I was programming Rubik's Cube programming. I'm not very good, though. I'm nowhere near as good as Ryan is. Ryan, your fastest time is what? Um, it's around 4.8 seconds. Oh, right. No I, can, I, can help, I can help you do <laughs> no better. No way. I think there's actually video evidence. Really? Yes. yes. And I have a 7.5 in a actual competition. 7.5. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, can you do one for us? Yeah. So I here, definitely this one can. I've broken up. This one I broke okay. up a bit, so so I'm going to let I you do it. We're I on, to right. see this. We're on I have a live. timer in front of me, too. Okay, so yeah. we'll oh, be able to there's an actual yeah. real device here to, yes. to test <laughs> you. So you've had a look. So what have you just done? Yeah, Walk what are you us through. For? You just looked at it. Like, what are you looking for? So I'm looking for the first step to my method for solving the cube. And so I in a competition, you get 15 seconds of inspection time to figure out what you're going to do and then you have to start. So okay. I've planned out what I'm going to do first. Oh, okay, so then let's give you a three, two, one, go. All right, he's spinning. Come on. Okay, I can't even, that, that's, that's not real. Ryan, are you a robot? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> Look at that. So. OMG. Yeah. <laughs> how fast was that? That was 13.2 seconds, which is actually pretty bad for oh, me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, like you really bad. You were What's nervous. wrong with you? Yeah. So walk wow. us through what you just did. We want to try. Can anybody learn, first of all, how to do a Rubik's yep. Cube? Yeah, everyone can learn how to do it. It just takes a lot of dedication, time, and memorization. Um, no math involved, actually. So well, okay. Oh, well, hang yeah. on a okay. second. Okay, <laughs> well. I feel better already. <laughs> so um, how does it work? What's what's the kind so of philosophy? Usually what cubers do to solve the cube is a layer by layer method. Mm -hmm. So you solve, instead of thinking of the cube as faces, you can think of it as layers. And that actually makes it easier to solve. Um, and then usually the first two layers are pretty intuitive. And then for the last layer, you need to memorize algorithms uh, to solve the rest. Ugh. Oh. Uh, I'm that's out. getting a little more <laughs> difficult now. <aren't> you? <laughs> Algorithms. Yeah. Pre you're busy there. You're, yeah, you're just... So the way that I do it, yeah, is exactly like I solve the top face, so the white um, cross, and then you fill in the corners. Okay. And, and it takes a little bit of time, but once you get that part, I feel like it's a little bit easier. Um, well, you, mean you had a robot teaching you. Yes. <laughs> so it's not, it's not fair. Uh, having the world's largest at Telespark is fun. So kids can come, people can come, adults can come. And, and uh, what do you hope to do and share in the Rubik's Cube with that? So we have the world's largest right now. Um, it's on. It's right in the atrium at Spark. Uh, visitors can come, see it, take pictures with it. Spin it's it. really impressive once you stand next to it, the size and the scale of it. It's about five foot six. And because of the stand that it's in, it looks even bigger. It's about six feet, I feel like it looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm short, so <laughs> <laughs> that's what it feels like to me. Any um, competitions coming up, Ryan? Uh, I was actually just at the Western Canadian Championship. And? Uh, I did pretty well. I came, I had four podiums. Um, so I came first in the square one event. Um, second in the six by six, third in the seven by seven, and third in the two, two by two. Congratulations! Awesome. <laughs> I, it sounds awesome. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds <laughs> phenomenal. Sounds do you smart. do you tutor? Can you can I hire um, you as a tutor? Sure. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I can do that. Hour. I can work with that. Thank you both for coming in. Check out the no uh, world's largest, and good luck with your next competition. Thank you. If you.